Maybe it's these clothes, yeah. Maybe it's these laws, yeah. Maybe it's my dog, yeah. Maybe it's these clothes, yeah. Maybe it's this man, yeah. Maybe it's my clan, yeah. Ain't got shit on us. This is our shit. My plants, my plants. The Matrix, the Matrix. When I wake up in the morning. I wake up in the morning, putting my read in my Bible paper. <laughs> Laws, I can see them later. Middle finger up, always screaming, fuck a hater. Chewing on them suckers like a now later. No hip hop, this ain't rock and roll. This is real music, pop like your soul. Here we go. Here we go. No Nubian queen who's white. Uh, no, no white Nubian queen. Iggy Azalea, Nicki Minaj, BT Awards. What's going on? If you're getting tickets, oh, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah, here we go. You see? All aboard. You retarded. You see? <laughs> He's so serious. When, when we, when we, when we, when I scream all aboard, it's time. To hop on my spaceship. Because you are now tuned in to What is the Matrix? And applause is supposed to come. He's holding it. Be, be nice. So, so what I was win. saying, I like, what like if you watch them motherfucking Harry Potter movies, you'll see that they do these conductor things and noises. So basically what I'm saying, I'm sending frequencies and sounds to certain people who know what's up. And I'm telling them it, it, all aboard. A, a few people think I'm just saying a word, but for those who know what's really going on, I'm telling you to hop aboard my spaceship. We're talking about the Nubian white queen. Can I get a picture of Nicki Minaj? <laughs> my, my baby from Friday the 13th who loves Jason and loves starships and all that, and Iggy Azalea from Australia, mm. you know what I'm saying? Nikki, 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 you should have fucked with the guy still. A lot of people hate on Riverside and the IE for certain particular reasons. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right. Uh, well, 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 we got our applause back. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's why we need donations and we need a lot of help. Because this is the dopest show on the planet, actually. You haven't seen nothing oh, like this on our turf. So, so basically, <laughs> what I'm talking about is Iggy Azalea and Nicki Minaj. You know what I'm saying? For one thing, Iggy, white girl, queen of hip hop now. Let's just say it. She's a, right now. She's the queen of hip hop, according like to the majority. Hip-hop. See, see, that's the thing. Hip hop has been lost. The culture and the elements. You know what? We we have a special guest uh, this evening. He goes by the name of DJ Ism, and he's gonna have some input on this. But for me, for you, for me, what? What? And basically, what I'm saying is like, first of all, you can't hate on the white girl for loving black culture, hip hop. No, Whatever never. name or never. you want to sound or say. But you can't. But Nikki, else. but let me finish. And you could talk goddess, Miss mm-hmm. Des. Mm-hmm. Goddess Queen. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, Nikki, you're talking about Starship, Jason, Elm Street, Friday the thirteenth, and all these things. 
talking about the basement, the underground, the underground gods, and you started rocking blonde fucking wigs. You started rocking your hair looking like a white girl. And that's, at the end of the day, much love. If anybody has a problem, it's much love. But that's the truth. So you can't hate on Iggy Azalea for trying to be a black woman because at the end of the day, Iggy's being herself. She's a white girl from Australia, but here's the fucked up shit. I need an Illuminati picture or something to let me break it down so I can show the love and show you what's really going on. Like a math problem, one plus one equals two. You know, we can cover our eyes. These are symbols, you know. Much love to our people, but to let everybody know, you already know. It's time. We are being fooled. We're actually being programmed. And the majority of the people that you see on TV and all this stuff, they're selected. It does, you know, there's people like us at this show right now in the Empire Live.TV. You know what I'm saying? What is the Matrix TV? Been there, son, that. This is a real network. You know, you can have your BETs and MTVs, but this is something real. You can even have your revolts now. Diddy's out here in Hollywood. He's in California now. You know what I'm saying? But we have our own network, and I'm letting you guys know that we can do everything that all your so-called famous people do. You don't have to sell your soul. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to do certain things, and I understand, you know, so let's flip a picture and we're going to get it into a, a commercial or a video right now. And we're going to come back with DJ Ism. Miss Des, yeah. I know you always look at me like I'm fucking crazy. You are crazy. Well, I love you too. No, I, just, I still am stuck on you calling her a, a queen of anything when she got like one pop song that came out like two days ago. What? The, how is that even possible? Well, put, put me on the Nicki Minaj, if you tell a black woman... They're trying to look like a white girl. They get offended. Tell them that they're indirectly telling their children to rock the weeds. They get offended. A black woman trying to look like white women. Low key. No. No? No. Why do they rock weeds like straight women? Why they think if you... See, now you got to come on and talk. See, See? we're going to have to visit. No, because the reason why. You know, that's why, why we need a okay, live studio I'm audience. You, come and visit us. I'm going to tell you why I would, why wait, I would wait, wait, rock a weave. Wait. <laughs> okay. I would, I would rock a weave, and, and I don't want to be white. I don't hate on the white. I don't have anything against white. I married a white man. I divorced his ass, too, but I'm just saying. The reason why I would rock a weave. Is because I don't want to comb my damn hair. Thank you. That it's, hair right I there. don't want to. Thank you. And I'm sorry, I don't see how that's trying to be like a white woman because white girls have to have to shampoo their hair. They gotta blow dry it. They gotta bleach it. They gotta do all of that. And um, you know, putting the weave in, it may look like their texture, but if you feel it, it's not. It is really not. And underneath it is still corn rolls. Dude, I got a wig on right now. <laughs> Braided. We, yeah, we, we. For that part. We, we got okay, that. But I'm just, too. you know. But I'm, uh, you know, it just, uh. Yeah. DJ Ism. Mm. What, what do you feel about this, brother? Man, you know, I, I'm about the hip hop period, man. So I don't, I don't subscribe to the whole racism, to that, that culture and stuff. That culture that comes from the white supremacy system, you know, that what they've created, what they did, the conquerors brought around and changed everything. They, they're doing a lot of mental slavery. A lot of things that are going on in the world that really works against hip hop and they try to infiltrate hip hop with that stuff, you know, trying to put their culture back into our culture and, and destroy it like they destroy everything. Right. So. so it's just if somebody wants to change their style to look different, it doesn't mean that, oh, geez, he's trying to be black. Oh, oh, Lil Kim, Lil Kim, my bad, oh. my bad. So what, what does that mean, though, Nicki trying Nicki to? Nicki trying to be white. What? She just is changing it up, trying to look different. Same as boring. If you look back the past 10 years, and take out a picture of me every year. I look different every year. Don't mean I was trying to be black, white, Asian, Boricua. Don't mean I was trying to be nothing but me. I was just trying something different. Or change your style. Up. Different. I had cornrows. Doesn't mean I'm trying to be black because I'm not full black. If I straighten my hair, doesn't mean I'm trying to be white because I ain't nana white. If I Shirley Temple curl it, it means I'm trying to be Boricua because there's only a piece of that. 
Like, it don't mean nothing. Nothing. So what if she's blonde? Like I would do my hair blonde, too, but you know what? It would damage the hell out of it. I'm not I'm not that risky. She's just a risk taker. Take her. That's all that means. She ain't trying to be nobody else but her. And Iggy, just because a white person likes hip-hop or pop and likes to beatbox and be with it, don't mean they're trying to be black at all. Just like the culture. Well, what are they trying to be in hip-hop? Where does the original elements of hip-hop the, the original reality. You got to understand, they got K through 12. They give you religion as slaves. They give you reality. They give you these TV shows. They give you these ideas. Yeah, but the Where does it come from? You didn't come out your mother's pussy believing in that. Okay, because just because I like My the mama culture, had a cesarean, they trying to be like black people. Ooh. <laughs> well, go ahead. Just saying. That's the question. Like, well, well, introduce like yourself. I'm devil, okay? What's up? But like I said, just because I like the culture and that type of music or whatever, that they're trying to be black? No. Because there's some black people that's country singing and all that. That's just their type of tea, coffee, whatever. They just found a genre that helps them express themselves. That, it, that part. See? Boom. That doesn't mean they're trying to be like that race or anything, though. I love y'all. I love you, too. And I, and I believe in a lot of things that you're saying. But, but wait. I got DJ Ism in the building. We're talking about do. culture. Because we agree with what you're saying. To certain what? degrees. I just all I have the hair. I ain't got nothing to do with it. So let's, can, can we get a picture of the Eminem? The actual, like, candy? Uh, I, see, I'm I'm raw in the flesh when I sun, when the sun you see I shine bright. What? I, well, <laughs> Eminem, I melt the Eminem. They're skittles to me. <laughs> I'm, I'm speaking in codes. Yeah, you are. You making but, me but, hungry though. But, I got a sweet tooth coming. Eminem, you want the video? What video do you I think we should throw up right now? But we gotta we gotta let the God talk. What's up, DJ is a man? What it do? This is crazy, right? Yeah, it is crazy. We live in a crazy world. As this whole system's crazy, man. But we live we live in a we live in a culture, hip hop culture is different. People are not really connected to that consciousness, don't really know what's going on. But when you when you come into that consciousness, you become aware of everything that's going on. You start to see the system, what's going on. You see the contradictions, you see what's going on when what they're trying to do to our culture. So basically uh uh we need to get back on that. There's too many people in hip hop. There's legends out there. We respect them. They're doing their thing, but they're not really connected to the, the consciousness. They were at one time. Somewhere along the line, they, they fell off. They making that money. Get a little bit of money and, you know, sign them contracts. They're getting owned, man. You know, KRS One out there, he ain't going to sign no contract. He don't got to sign no contract. He's connected to the consciousness and he knows how to make money. He knows when to write a book, he knows when to go out and go on tour. When did you fall in love with hip-hop? 1986, man. 1986. Let us know. know before we get into yeah. a video of KRS-One. That's right, the teacher. You know, after after uh, DJ Ism spits his uh, knowledge and information, we're going to get into a video of KRS-One, just like commercials. And, uh, you know, so spit it. Let us know your love of hip-hop, the oh, culture. Man. I'm all about hip-hop. I've been in hip-hop since 1986, still learning. You know, I still learn. I, I listen to the scholars and stuff. So I listen, go back to the pioneers. I always keep it with the pioneers. I, I, I start here at home. I look at all the cats, all the legends that are out here in IE, Dirty Bird, West Side Bug, Dr. Stank. You love hip-hop, right? Yeah, Elm Street. Yeah, you're trying to be black? Because yeah. you, you're not. I'm, I'm being me. I'm hip-hop. I'm not white. I'm not black. I'm hip-hop. But does that mean he's trying to be black? She no, I'm out. not trying to be black. I mean, she out no, I'm hip-hop. Oh, well. Because, I mean, he said that she, the Iggy was trying to be black because she's black and hip-hop. No, 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 as long as he no. positions himself right, have the right tie on, have the right smile, um, uh, repeats the slogan. Yeah, she, she, she pointed out a good view, though. No, I, I was just saying. Cause no, like, I, I you understand talking, what you're I'm saying. Listening to you, I was like, wait a minute. No. He's white. Does that? Oh, we got a, we got a caller that we can't hear. How about you ignore that one, brother? We in a, we, we in a conversation. We got a call right there. Boom. Oh, he going to get it. Ghetto. Brother, you are you on your way? That uh, really is ghetto. You, this man, you, you on your way? Did this guy just really ask for the phone? Uh, 
We need somebody to uh, lock the Maybe we should go uh, to video. Uh, unlock the door. the agenda. You know, a lot of times we don't want to know the issue. Yeah, come yeah. on in, my God. We don't want to know the issue. Lord. We feel. You know what I'm saying? What do you call this thing where you get this false sense of gratification, but, but because a black man is in office, everything's going to be all right. Down. No, everything's not uh, going to be all right. Up, yeah. you. Until you look right. into the agenda and what the Democratic right. Party has been about, is about, and, that's and will be thing. about, you guys got Barack Obama that's is the president why. or not. And that's real. This is the center of endurance. Was on the and ball. endurance is what wins wars. Not how many people you kill. But how long can you endure? Right George here. Washington lost almost every battle he had. But he endured. He out endured the British. And that's how the battle was won. Endurance. There's a billion people on the planet. It only take one to change it. Are you the one? There may be everybody in your classroom bugging out. Your whole school may be on fire with kids wild and bringing guns that... But are you the one? Nature, Nature has, a has a way of, of abundance. abundance. Nature, Nature puts out a lot of stuff, stuff looking for the what. So if so you're going to you go, go along, along with, with the trend, the trend of, of let's, let's just, just kill each, each other, other, let's, let's disrespect, disrespect each, each other, other, then you're, then you're part, part of nature's plan, plan as well to be to part be of part just the, 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 the excess. excess. But if you think more of yourself, than just be in the excess, you'll do more for yourself. Are you the one? Everybody's not gonna make it. But you have an opportunity to save yourself. Jason, it's over. Barack is like the manager of Burger King. All presidents are including Bush. It's like this. When your fries are cold, if your burger is not done right, you go back to Burger King, America, or your government, and you say, my burger's cold. I want new fries. First, you go to the cashier. That's the courts. You argue to the courts. The courts, if you can't get no justice with the cashier, you say, let me see the manager. I want to go to the Supreme Court. I want to see the president. Hey, did it start over? The manager comes out. Hi, huh, yeah. what can I do for you? Now, the manager can override the decisions of the cashier. But you never get to see the franchise owner of Burger King. If you really have a problem with your burger, yeah, so, uh... I need an MC! Oh, oh! If you're from California, get your hand up! If you're from California, get your hand up! Oh! You don't treat the guy who we ain't popping girl with the teacher's camera at all! Yeah, yeah, yeah! You know what I'm saying? We already know we're living in a matrix, a hologram. At the end of the day, you can watch Charlie and the Cho Chocolate Factory. Y'all can come in. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're atoms and photons and neurons with trillions and billions of pieces rocking around. You know what I'm saying? We're, it's an illusion. Like when you watch Star Trek, we can do that. Back in the day, Captain Kirk had a fucking cell phone and a flat screen TV. Do you understand if you watch Star Trek, these niggas had flat screen TVs and fucking cell phones, dog.
DJ Ism on the Grind TV, and, and, and to tell you the truth, these are brothers who I, I've seen grind. You know, I've seen grind in the streets for real, in the empire, i.e. And people can get lost in Hollywood and look for the fame and fortune. And I know we all want the, the lavish life. But only a few times do we ever meet people who are lovers of the culture. And that's what I always explain. It's not about color. That's the thing about more than hip hop, even though it's a word. It's a frequency. It's a radio station. You know, it's, it's basically like a heart. It's a, it's a dimension. It's a world. It's, it's an expression. You can look at a person and see if they're hip hop. No matter if they're white, black, or brown, I can look for me. I could look at a person from their handshake, their voice. I'm like, oh, you, I didn't you're hip-hop. You, I did picture of Dre and so, his old friends and new friends. Like, that's so hilarious. get it. So get it. And the DJ-ism, get that's it. That's hilarious. Throw, throw the Dr. Dre. Much love to all people. And I, that's throw hilarious. it up. Well, ism, we all know. No, fuck. Fuck all that. Fuck all that. Long live Tupac Shakur. Right. And I just said it before that went on. So it's real. It sparked the brain, and I'm and my ethers are on fire right now. Hey, so DJism, what it do? What's what's missing in the elements of hip hop? You Bunch know what I'm saying? Elements. They might say, "Oh, Jason," like 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 certain groups of people. Oh, he's friends with a white boy. So you know, you know what I'm saying? Like the nation. The no, 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 no. This, no, this is what is the Matrix TV. This is a new dimension. This is a new radio station. Can't take you nowhere. <laughs> they just reuniting and all. I'm tripping off the audience members. They just crazy. And you are scaring me, so I just had to. Why is everyone just scared of me? You should see Gates was on the black one, Matt Tins and guns. You, no, man, do not be afraid me. of me. But you are in my. You are scaring me because we are going from one Shit. funny situation to anger really fast. I am not. They got mad. pills for that, Jay. Girl. Mm. Well, that's what we got to do. What is the Matrix TV? In the Empire Live Studios, we're going to make movies. Mm. You know what, what I'm saying? Fuck all that BET shit. Fuck all that Hollywood shit. I love all y'all who's a part of that. I know y'all mention me once in a while, but y'all never show love to my turf. You know what I'm saying? We even got basketball players from the turf who are told not to show love. Because why? Because this was the ancient black civilization. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, that's why they want black and Mexicans to go to war. Because black folks who are awake, I'm supposed to bring my folks to the pyramids, get my Mexican and indigenous people, and we're activating the pyramids, and those folks who got the nod, we're out of here. No heaven gate, San Diego shit, my nigga. Real facts, you know what I'm saying? So put it on Dre. Everybody's got that fucking picture. Uh, we can throw that on before we go to Dre. And all that, you know what I'm saying? And even Tupac and Hova, listen to Machiavelli, the album. Much love to rock, you know what I'm saying? They're fucking with the guys. I talk too much, I say. But now, Drake, you're next to the fucking mayor of Toronto. This white motherfucker was smoking crack. Come on, my nigga. Well, by that what way, kind of shit is that? That's where but he's ism, from. we need ism. This is about ism. That's where he's from. And he was smoking crack. Ain't that where Drake's from? The, the fucking mayor. The mayor, he's still the fucking mayor. He even went to rehab. Niggas, okay. niggas lose their job if they go to rehab. Well, the rehab came Are out and me? smoke crack again. Thank you. Tell, tell, <laughs> tell, tell us about your story. Because we might always talk about it. And I'm going to have to get it up. How many minutes do we have left, left on here? 30 minutes. We talk about European, Europeans and Anglo-Saxons. But Anglo. I'm, I'm going to talk about... A vibe. I got a vibe with this brother. That's right. I vibe with you, doggy. So uh, let us know. You know, the people want to know as a white person, so-called white person, yeah. European, Anglo-Saxon, whatever. Hey, man, the devil. Whatever people want to say. But my brother. You know, like like I said. Uh, what was it like growing up in hip hop, and what still made you love it? When you listen to X Clan, KRS One. And all that. I know you had to go against white folks who said, man, these motherfuckers are saying shit about us. How brave and intelligent 
and God like were you to conquer that and to be here? You know, uh, I don't know. I just had a sense of uh, what was right and wrong. It just came up like that. It was always that way from, from a young age, just kind of awake and aware. You know, certain things didn't seem right. And I was around a lot of that stuff, a lot of, a, a lot of racism and stuff. I was around that, heard a lot of stuff. And I listened to hip hop. I got a lot of, I got a lot of flack for that, you know. Uh, I got not just not just from from white people and stuff like that. a lot of people even even black people tripped out on me at first you know but then other ones a lot more see they they opened their arms to me when they realized I was really about this hip hop you know that I understood that, that that I loved it and stuff that I I I seek you know when I when I came into you know it all started off it was just you know what they call bullshit today is, is what they were doing back then it wasn't about knowledge and stuff it was about partying and so people were dancing doing the elements and stuff DJing MCing. Uh, you know, entrepreneurs, everybody was out there doing something. And, uh, you know, I just I started picking up stuff. The, the, when I really started questioning the system is when I heard Chaos One speaking. When I heard Boogie Down Productions, when they come out, we must learn. Or you hmm. must learn. I'm sorry. Because I'm, I'm talking about I must learn because that's where it was. I mean, he was talking about stuff that I never heard before. Not in the school system. They weren't teaching us that. They were teaching us Columbus came and discovered here. And, I, and even as a kid, I had, to, I had to wonder, like, how do you discover something when there's people already there? You already taught us that there were there there was natives here, but what about you, know? you folks? You know, I get flack about myself, but it's about you right now. Uh, how did your folks feel about that? You know, because personally, I say back in the day, I used to get my ass kicked and whipped with paddles and shit if my pop, mom and pop. Well, my dad was cool. Yeah. Mom would whip my ass if I got caught listening to rap. Right. Right. So what about your folks when you were on that hip hop? My my like, parents. My parents kind of let me, kind of let me, you know, watch things and, and certain things that other kids really couldn't do. They they didn't really censor me that much from certain things. I mean, there were certain things they felt strongly about, but they didn't censor everything. So they let me listen to hip hop, and, and, and but you know, I get I get I get kind of shit from from pops and stuff, and tell me it was a fad that it was you know that I need to open up to other things because I I listened to other music before that and stuff. But when hip hop really came into, I really went into hip hop. Like I didn't want to listen to the stuff I listened before. Then I mean I was on on funk and oldies and all that stuff too and the pop in that time in the early 80s and stuff and, and when I was growing up you know and and I just kind of gravitated over to hip hop and like I said, the, it really took out when when I heard King of Rock from from Run DMC and that's when I just kind of really fell in and saw Crush Groove start following Run DMC real tough and then uh, they opened the door to all these other kind of artists and stuff and, you know, and then the conscious movement came along and I really fell into that you know everybody walking around I know everybody remember the the leather, leather African medallions, the house dress, everyone wearing, you know, wearing, like, wearing what, the cross colors. Now, what do you feel about when the West Coast was on that gangster rap? I know Dr. Dre on one of his first hit songs, he said, "No more uh, black medallions, no more black fists," you know. Right. No more basically knowledge and information. And I see you. You're on the. You're on, you, you really on the. The, the frequency on the radio station, it's hard to touch this. Right, right. And it's no, like you were saying, you know, I want everybody to know, before you come to my show, I talk to my people. You might hear the, the Sophia Stewart on The Matrix and did all that funny shit. This is a brother. This is the greatest thing about this show and our network. You can have a cooking network. Right. You can have a church network. Yeah. You can have anything, because what, what, what were you saying? Hip-hop and music brings all religions and everybody together. Right. Brings all people from wherever, whatever their personal beliefs are, whatever, however they're brought up. When we all come together, like say, at a concert, and, and they're up there rocking the stage, we're there to see that person. We all feeling that music. Nobody cares about your religion. Yeah, Nobody cares know. about your race. No one cares about where you live or anything. We all got our hands up. We all rocking to that. You know, that's what we offer that vibration. And we picking up off of that that stuff, and 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 what we saying, you know, all those people there, they 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 repeat those words, you know, they, those words come in and they and they they marinate in people and stuff. So we listening to what's going on. It doesn't really, I mean, it's all hip hop, you know. It could be from party stuff to to you know party music all the way to to conscious music to gangster rap and all that. Everybody's telling a story. Everybody's got a story, you know. And that that's basically like I, I, I hear a lot of cats come down on on these these young kids out there now, and. You know, I'm, I'm kind of watching. I'm kind of watching what they're talking about. Listen to that content, because Tupac actually said that in the last in the last interview when he was in Clinton Clinton Correctional Facility. He warned us about. He warned us about a time that they would bring people in, and and they 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 would 
they would take over. Basically, they would put people in here that didn't care about the neighborhood. They didn't care about the communities. And he was right. That's exactly what happened. Now you got these guys out there pushing this gangster rap. You know, that's what they want to call it. They call it gangster rap for a reason. They wanted to, 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 to break it apart. They want to put labels on things. It's kind of what you see in religion. You see all these different, like in, in all forms of religion, they all broke up at, in, into smaller groups because they had little disagreements on certain, on, on, on certain ideas as far as what their books had said. And that's what we're seeing in hip hop. It's the same thing that's going on in everything that they take over. They're doing that to hip hop right now. They're trying to put labels on everything, whether it's uh, twerk music, ratchet music, uh, gangster rap, backpack. It's all hip hop. Stop calling it that, man, because that doesn't come from us. When we, when the, when the, when the, when the pioneers first started doing this, African Bambada, mm. DJ Cool Herc, Red mm. Alert. Come on, all the all the people in the South Bronx. To shout out to the South Bronx, <clears> you know. They put that out there. Beatbox and, man, the beat box and all that you know stuff. No, man, that's that. the real, the real. You know that's the hip hop. But you know, but yeah, pe- people no, want to. Right. We we too much about Master. worrying about who's doing what instead of yeah. instead of bringing it back together as one. That's right. That's mm. right, man. You know what I'm saying? So all we, day stretching their ears, acting like it's a new thing. Yeah, that's that's man, not, that's not that's not new at all. That's ancient. That's ancient. An, that's ancient. Right. Right. All our elements. This is the gods. This is this is my brother. My little brother started stretching his ears like it was so excited about that. I was like, what are you doing? Right. And then just, you know, I'm like, do you even know where that came from or why? My little brother. He's like, no. He's like, I know it came from Africa. I'm like, yeah, the Uh. slaves used to do that to try and make themselves look unattractive (laughs) to the slave traders so they wouldn't purchase them. Why are you stretching your ears? Stop it. (laughs) It is ugly. She dropped a knowledge on you. Yo. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Dez. I'm just saying. They That's did right. that to Woo! make themselves look undesirable. Why would you do that and start a fad? You're not cool. Oh, you look man. stupid. Ridiculous. What happens to fads? Fads, fads wither and die they and add disappear. The fads add an no. e and they fade. Yeah, they disappear. They go away. That's the whole system of that stuff. That's why hip hop has not faded. Hip hop doesn't doesn't go away. Real hip hop stays. No, it you, evolves. Keep it yeah. ism. It keeps changing. Keep it ism. Right. And well, you, you keep, it keeps evolving. Keep, well, keep that's because going that's be, that's because you got people coming up. They got different stories to tell. They got different generations. Right. Everything. We can't hate on these youngsters doing their thing, man. We gotta we gotta stop doing that. You know, I'm I love the boom bap and stuff. I'm still on that. You know, but I listen to some of these these young cats that are coming out and doing their thing and. And, and they're still on that hip hop. They're still they're still doing the thing. They have their story to tell. Let them have their story to tell, man. There's no reason for us older cats to be hating on them like that. We should have been guiding them in the first place. When a lot of us had kids and we didn't guide them, right. we did not give right. them the elements like well, we were supposed I feel to. You there, but a lot of kids these days in this era ain't like. This. No, you got like I saw today. I saw a video of the, the of the, these kids surround this older lady and, and and like three of the girls. One goes up and socks her, and the rest jump in. They rap packed her. And that's what they're teaching. That's not our culture. That's not our culture at all. Mm. We don't teach that. We teach, in our culture, hip-hop, we, te- we teach to pay homage. Yeah. We pay homage to the ones that came before us. We honor our ancestors. We don't do that. Right. You know, that, and, and you know, but the, everyone see in that culture, I'm talking about the world culture, those, those people say they're going to look at those colors and everything and they're going to put it on there and that's, you know, they, they put it off like that. You know, it's, you know oh, look at those black kids doing that to their child. Time but that's not all. Right. I took my daughter to school. And her homegirl just got her license for the first time. Drove up in her first car. Why was her first car a Range Rover? Bitch, you driving a shit. You pushing something better than mine? Like, for real? Yeah, That's your first balling. car? My balling. car, you had to push You had to push and then kickstart the clutch. Yeah. That was my first car. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm just saying. No, that's I didn't hate that. Me too. I need a we need a laughter like a show. I'm just I need saying. a laughter like three's company or something, nigga. Yeah. I'm serious. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. Me. That was that, funny as that, fuck. That's where I come yeah. from. Yeah. Yeah. first car, like yeah. for for real. Yeah. I hate to. I mean, I'm I'm hating. Bitch, <laughs> move. Yeah, I, I went. I went to. I went to. I don't have nothing handed to me. I went to a high school. You that was can't that. Talk about going through nothing. No. Nothing. No, I, I went through. A, I that's went to a high school. school. You chose. I went to a high school like that with all the kids that on the grind motherfucking TV. On the grind. We have DJ. Ism, up in the building, up on What's the Matrix TV. Appreciate y'all having me. You know. Oh, we we're thankful for you bringing with us with your knowledge and presence and your energy and vibration. Man. You know, it's not too many people. You know, we have some faggot punk ass motherfucking <laughs> guests. You know, much love to everybody. You know what I'm saying? 
and uh and is this is this a <laughs> is this a great thing to be around good people or about really right. business right right it's, you know that's what I'm we have fun element. people watch this but this is hard work motherfuckers gotta pay money and work hard and they we're working. trying to develop a real radio station for you guys yeah beyond what? NBC what? and all that that's crazy what shit <laughs> what? what are you talking about guests like that <laughs> what do you mean we have some we have some faggot punk ass guests. There was some motherfucking suckers who come around. Oh, in your life you gonna have, okay. you know, gonna some have suckers those. come around. I was, just, I was like, oh. wow, are you really talking about? You know what I'm saying? Studio audience like that, Jason. Oh no! Oh no! No! Oh 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 oh! <laughs> this brother, let's get a topic. Lord of the Lord, topic. King of the Kings in my world. Might have disagreed on things, but taught me things and. I consider him a brother and a more than a friend. I got a blank page. What are we talking about here? <laughs> I, Jay, let's get on the topic. Well, let's talk about Bigfoot. They they done talk. They done started talking oh, about the how they found it. Then we're well, we gonna get our conspiracy. Oh. We gotta get on it. We got a few I'm, little bit. You all remember Harry and the Hendersons? Y'all don't remember that movie? Mm -mm. Sasquatch. No, brother. You that was your time, baby. I don't know. The Bigfoot conspiracy. Uh -uh. Have y'all ever seen Star Wars? Chewbacca. Yeah, I've seen that. Mm -hmm. Hairless beans. Why do you think? There you go. <laughs> right. The hell Those two sounds. Can, do we have the audience mic? Cause yeah. there's some Let weird Let us know. Sounds coming from there. What, what we talk? I mean, it's about. Yeah. No. I, I mean, I don't know. Going. I don't know about if Bigfoot's out there now. I see some good videos, but you know. Maybe there is, and we just, you know, who knows? You know, those could be aliens as far as we all we know. No, one, no one's caught one. Bigfoot. You know? They, have they? Wait, 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 I mean, wait. We got, we, we've seen, like. Have they? Have they caught one? I don't know. Or have they, they not one. taught one? Or, 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 excuse me. What? <laughs> what? Have they not shown it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, this right. is illegal. They killed Pac, they killed Malcolm, they killed JFK, they killed any they motherfucker book writer, reporter. Talk about, you were telling me about a motherfucker, uh, Anglo-Saxon white dude who got killed. Yeah. Kicking some shit. Talk about it. Well, I mean, any, it, it, you're talking about the, the, the cat, the, like uh, Rick Ross. Well, I every, want to talk about the, 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 Right. Saying NBC where we talk about bullshit every fucking day. Oh, well, you day. can't, you can't, like, you uh, know, I'm not wasting my motherfucking life. Right. I mean, you got, like, right now. I'm not the, angry. The, the media don't put, like, they I'm said. I'm happy. Uh, I was talking to the homeboy. Shit, you ain't. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm calm. I'm yeah. very happy. If that is your calm, that means you clear the room when you get hyped. That's crazy. Yeah. That's More crazy, crazy motherfuckers than me. Right, right, right Riverside, Inland Empire <laughs> Live. Studio. Well, we're gonna go into this. That's what we're about to do. How many minutes? We're gonna go into this next. The the show Cleveland has showed you. They poke. They oh oh. We got a good amount of time. Good. They showed you. Good. We talk about the Illuminati. We talk about Tupac, Illuminati. Now, Cleveland? on the cartoon, Illuminati, they talk about it. I didn't do it. They made it. Play the video. Play the video. Illuminati what? music what industry world? exposed. Oh, there you go. World. Yeah, we getting in. He said Illuminati. <laughs> Illuminati stuff that then becomes cool. Illuminati stuff the trend that then becomes cool. Illuminati. That was Illuminati puppets Kanye West along with the satanic skank Nicki Minaj a trois and Bruno Mars and Questlove singing about how cool the Illuminati is in the season premiere of The Cleveland Show. And it was their actual voices. They did the voiceovers for the show. Hey, are we gonna raise global oil prices or what? Where in the episode, the main character, Cleveland Brown, happens to stumble across a secret room in Kanye West's house called Kenny West in the show when he was fixing his cable and happened to find them doing a bizarre ritual looking like it was something out of the Skull and Bones Society or the Bohemian Grove. The entire episode poked fun at the allegations surrounding Kanye West, Nicki Minaj, Jay-Z and others 
that they are affiliated with the Illuminati or Illuminati puppets. Dang, bro. Sounds like your step pop stumbled upon the hip hop Illuminati. Oh, there's just this rumor that some of the biggest stars in hip hop are in a secret society that runs the world. It ain't no rumor, Willis. It's for real. They control everything from the world economy to fashion trends to what freaky hybrid fruit we eat. In the episode, what is called the Hip Hop Illuminati decides to attempt to destroy the career of Kanye West because he's not sinister enough. And the character Cleveland Brown gets him to join a polka band and attempts to destroy his career, but ultimately he ends up turning it cool because everything that Kanye West touches turns to cool. I wonder where people got the idea that Kanye West has pledged allegiance to the Illuminati. I mean, it's not like he's worn a Baphomet satanic goat t-shirt before. Okay, I, I, I'm sorry. So, I mean, it's not like he's worn some pants with an upside down satanic pentagram. Also with a Baphomet satanic goat patch sewed onto them, right? Oh, oh, <laughs> I guess I'm wrong again. Okay, I mean, it's not like he's... Good buddies with somebody who's an Aleister Crowley fan, the infamous Satanist who wrote about murdering children to get satanic power, right? Oh, oh, that's right. Him and Jay-Z are buddies. Oh, that's right. Jay-Z said that he wants to rape children in Kanye West's song, Monster. Oh, are they talking about how evil and monstrous they are? Murder, murder in black convertibles. I kill a block, I murder the avenues. I rape village of village women and children. I wonder why people think that Kanye West is a Satanist. And I wonder why people think that Nicki Minaj is also a Luciferian idol built up by the music industry to uh, essentially influence her young, tween, and teenage fans. As you can see here, Ellen Degenerate brings out the two best Nicki Minaj fans who happen to be you know, six and seven years old. That's great. That is exactly who you want to be listening to Nicki Minaj's lyrics. That's fantastic. Whose stage name means Nicki Minaj a trois. Nicki three-way. Nicki likes to get finger cuffed. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why people get these allegations. You know, Jay-Z making his Illuminati pyramid symbol and calling his record label Rockefeller Records, wearing an Aleister Crowley sweatshirt with Aleister Crowley's credo, do what thou wilt, do whatever you want, screw everybody else, you're your own god. Gee, I don't know why people thought such a thing. And isn't it interesting that they just sing about it in the, in the show? It's just, it's, it's just a funny thing, man. That's no big deal, right? Aristotle, the ancient philosopher from Greece, once said, if you listen to the wrong kind of music, you will become the wrong kind of person. <laughs> oh, that's just a conspiracy theory, man. You're just reading too much into this stuff, right? You know, I've said this before. If it took people seeing the Illuminati symbolism in these scumbags' music videos and the, them wearing satanic shirts with the satanic pentagrams and, you know, the Baphomet, the hermaphroditic satanic goat that the Knights Templars worshipped, uh, to realize that these people are satanic, then you are blind and deaf because all you needed to do was listen to their music. It is pure trash. Is, is it uplifting? Is it exciting? Is it like Bob Marley talking about freedom and social injustice? No, no, it is promoting a materialistic, immoral agenda. And monkey see, monkey do. You know, what, what the fans listen to and what the fans see on TV is what many fans are gonna do in real life. Life imitating art. Yeah, I'm just a crazy conspiracy theorist. I just read too many books on the Illuminati, I guess. I guess the Cleveland show is right, and it's just a big joke. Illuminati stuff that then becomes cool. Illuminati stuff that trend that then become cool. Illuminati. Illuminati stuff that then becomes cool. Illuminati stuff that trend that then become cool. Illuminati. That was Illuminati puppets Kanye West along with the satanic skank Nicki Minaj a trois and Bruno Mars and Questlove singing about how cool the Illuminati is in the season premiere of The Cleveland Show. And it was their actual voices 
they did the voiceovers for the show. Hey, are we going to raise global oil prices or what? Where in the episode, the main character, Cleveland Brown, happens to stumble across a secret room in Kanye West's house called Kenny West in the show when he was fixing his cable and happened to find them doing a bizarre ritual looking like it was something out of the Skull and Bones Society or the Bohemian Grove. The entire episode poked fun at the allegations surrounding Kanye West, Nicki Minaj, Jay-Z, and others that they are affiliated with the Illuminati or Illuminati puppets. Dang, bro. Sounds like your step I need I need an in and out burger. I need advertisements. Oh, I feel like we are in the matrix with that echo. Oh man. Miss Dad. I appreciate you so much. You're beautiful. You're beautiful inside and out, my God. Thank you so much. You are, been you are a you fucking, fucking nutcase. Nut nut Let's start the shit. shit. That, that, um, oh, I'm, I'm not even going to get started. So when you were singing Bigfoot, that's that's the uh, the stories that I've been told of, uh, of the, uh, what is it? Help me cut Chris. The, the chupacabra. <laughs> it's the chupacabra, not the Bigfoot. <laughs> Murdoch, why you didn't pipe in? <laughs> that's shit. No? Make a laughter. We need a laughter. Interns. The Yeti. I know the Yeti. I don't know Bigfoot. Henderson Harry. Abominable moment. Speak, Ricky. Come. Can you talk? There's an echo in here, Murdoch. <laughs> that's good, but that's the studio audience. Come every week, dog. But no, we're listening. So we got a brother saying, go ahead. You wait, 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 wait a minute, say it again. He don't want to be on camera, we're just going to hear the voice. I would think that this planet is so big, I mean, we haven't even, we've only discovered, what, 25% of the ocean, so I would say that what what happened in the past, or the, our dinosaurs and all of that in the past, they could still be walking right here in the earth, but just not been discovered yet. Every year, we've always, we've, we discover new species every year. So yeah, I got two do I doubt that there's no Bigfoot? No, there is something out there. 7%. What kills me about it is, is like, we, we're, we're trying to discover space, but we ain't even dis discovered the 100% of the ocean. You know what I'm saying? We're not talking about percentages, but basically we got two brothers saying that we all agree that a lot of shit ain't been discovered, nigga. Yeah, we you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's that's what it comes down to. And that's what the show and all this shit's about. You can go to the fucking BET Awards. You can do all that crazy shit, but no, nah, it's about us. We living in these real cities. Man, fuck the They're BET not going to let us on like they that. They out there passing out Roscoe's chicken and waffles all in during the audience and all oh, of that. Man, like, man, careless Say the Illuminati. You see Nicki Minaj <laughs> with all that. Rabbits and all of that. You see Gabrielle Union when she covered up the one eye and all of that. That's all Illuminati, man. It's just, it's all the agenda. Like they push it out there, and you got to be aware to watch it. So what's what's wrong with the Illuminati? A lot. Like what? Well, I trip. I don't trip. If it's Illuminati and there's secret, huh? if they're a secret society, then why do we know their name? Well, they're not so secret. Exactly. Jason. So. Elm but look at a lot of the symbols they use. A lot of the symbols they take are from from ancient Egypt or from 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 Kemet. They're they're from, you know, yeah. They've taken it and they 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 put the images out there, and now everybody thinks all those images are evil. I mean, those images, those people that that put those images out there worship those images, but then they also allow us to think that they're evil. Yeah. So why? Why? I mean, so people not really thinking about that. They just watch the videos on. and The videos sound good. They don't speak on it either way. Basically, you could think what you want. 
Right. We're going to put it out there that we exist. The secret society exists, but you don't know about it. So you just got to come to your own conclusion. So yeah, they got names it, that we don't know about. Is it devil worshiping? Is it, is it ruled by the white people? Is it this? Is it that? Do they control the government? Do they do this? You can come to your own conclusion. Religion got you thinking that it's devil, devil What is it? You Do I scare you? Like from, uh, men in black. <laughs> men, men in black. Okay. Yeah. Here come the men in black. Galaxy defender. No, you sound like the fat boys. The Shit. fat boys. Jason Society. Oh, there you go. I need scientists. Give me my land. You know what I'm saying? We're going to build our own crop. We're going to have my soldiers. You know, I'm going to have my street niggas. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have our own education system, schools. All the kids, it's gonna be a fun society, man. And hey, Jason, hip hop is a fun. Hip hop is a fun society. Shit, hip hop is a fun shit. society. I've done it before. I've done it before. There ain't too many niggas you ever gonna meet bent to the pyramids, bro. Whoever say that I that I I, 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 I constructed some of that. I have to. Jason. Yeah. Yes. Hey, check this out real quick. You ready? Look at the screen. Ready? Check this out. Ah, oh, there you go. And we want to thank InlandEmpireLive.tv. That's right. And then the fucking applause. I don't that a lot. It's happy. Yeah. 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 Oh, is that a Illuminati symbol behind me? Who's they? Well, I'm enlightened. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm I part you. of the dark side. There you go. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. And I create the light. You create the eye? So DJ Ism. What to do? We got a few minutes left, man. Just a few. Just a little bit. Tell us about Karis One. You. Ah, oh, the teacher. Have you ever been? Have you? Have you ever been locked up? Oh no, we're gonna go there. Have you ever been in the pen? Uh, <laughs> have you ever been in county? I, I've, I've been, I've been I, through I, that. Has any uh, police officer arrested you? Halfway house. It's happened. It's happened. Got an ankle bracelet. Shit. <laughs> let me, let me know. I'll tell you what, man. One of the things I've seen up in the system and stuff going through all that, you know, uh -huh. they had me trapped in there. You know, I was a rebel and stuff. Yeah, you know, I put it up there. There was a time, you know, that I was against, you know, against the city. I was going to do what I wanted to do. I didn't care about no laws or nothing. So I was going to go out there and get my money, period. And then I kind of find out, you know, why am I wasting all this time? And then I started to kind of wake up and, and look at everything that was going around me, the political system within the pen, how that works. I'm not just talking about how the COs and the system itself works against you, but how the people, the, the inmates and stuff, the convicts and stuff that work, you know, how their system works and stuff. And then watching how the CEO and that system comes in and influences that system. And I caught on and I, I seen what I seen was a, a beta version of what's really happening in our country, not just our country, but the world. Akon, hey, shotgun, shout out to Convict Music. Oh, 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 take it off. That's right. Wait, but do you not notice that inside the people that is locked up? Fuck it, we're live. We got Brooklyn, New York. We got Johannesburg. We got London. We got Pittsburgh. Rest in peace, Bob we got Hernandez. We got everybody watching. You, no matter how many fucking views you guys try to say we have. Don't let him get his anger yeah. out. So, he's passionate. He's passionate. He's going to let him get his happiness. He's passionate. I love his passion. There you go. There you go. Yeah. But did you not, did, is it not the, the people that are in control or supposed to be looking out or watching over the people locked down more corrupt than the people inside? That's what I'm talking about. You see it happening. You see it. Like I've seen, you, you see the, everybody know about the war with Norteños against Sorenos and stuff and how that goes down. And I was in a position where I, I'm watching it, you know, because they're over there talking by my window, and I'm seeing a CEO trying to, trying to influence a, a Norteño to go Thank hit you. hit a Soreno who you. who pretty much dropped out, but he wasn't going to go PC, so he was going to take whatever he wanted to take in. on that yard. Thank you. And, and but I seen I seen a white cop come up and and, and start telling this Norteño all about it, giving him info, and he was doing that shit all the time. You know, so people might get fucking upset about me talking about you, but you know it's fucking real, man. Right. You and man, I do it. I'm telling you because man. it's because I love you, not because, you know, I want to put your business out there. But everybody that's been through that shit knows what's going on in the system. I'm, I'm a this is the, the entire there. system. The whole entire you world hold system that is corrupted. Strong, TJ, it's complete. It's complete. Let them talk yeah, to you. Corrupt. Talk. How, how yeah. We're ending it with ism. 
Yeah, a we, long boy gonna be it, in prison for got some years behind him. Right. They gonna call me on the cell phone, got a yeah. Facebook. What Where's the hell? No, free, free, wait, free wait, buck. Before, free, you know, free what? big buck. Free well, JD from the mix, lynch mob. Come on, man. Everybody mixing all that. Well, mixing with all the goddesses and queens are saying right. with where they can reach you. Where can we find uh, you at? I'm on, you mainly find me up on Facebook. You know, I, I put most of my stuff, my time up on Facebook when I'm posting stuff. It's DJism, D dot, J dot, I Z U H M. Not, it sounds like I S M. It's I Z U H M. Hit me up on there. I'm all over the internet, man. I'm up on Twitter, whatever. Just Google me, you'll find me somewhere. Hit me up. I answer people all the time. I talk with people. I love people, man. And, and we're doing that. I stay Get humble yourself, on bro. what I'm doing. We're just going to keep pushing. You're That's about right. to have your own show, do you? Yeah, we we talking we talking you know, about doing grind, something. On we the talk, grind TV, on the grind, man. We talking about bringing on the grind over you, here. I got smart. I got quite a few yeah. ideas and stuff Thank on you. some other ones. So we if it pops and stuff, then we'll we'll continue to keep bringing some 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 good shows and stuff. I mean, they got a yeah. great platform here at IE Live, man. I, I like what they're doing. I support what's the matrix. I'm, I'm behind Jason. This is the homie. Uh, you know, they got a great. You guys got a. You know, a great, great uh, uh, whole setup that you're doing is the everything that works. The show works. Every, the first time I saw it, I, I mean, I was like, man, this, this, this is the shit right here. This is grassroots. This is real. You know, not the not the shit on that you see on TV, the mainstream, the boring shit. This is real. This is the kind of stuff I like to see. You know, to all the other shows that are out there that I see that out there doing for Be Real TV to the the B Side Show to all those cats out there doing pushing and doing the thing. I, I you know, I, I hold. A lot of respect for them cats and stuff, and I watch their shows and, and pay attention to what's going on, and uh, uh, and just like the independent grind, man. I'm all about the independent grind, so you know we're gonna keep we're gonna keep pushing and, and, and doing our thing. So keep a lookout on on the grind TV. You can find videos up on on uh, uh, little snippets of what we do. You haven't seen the whole thing yet because you can't put the whole thing out there where everybody wants to bite your shit. So. We're going we gonna to do it first, and then they can come and follow and be the carbon copies they want to because we're real hip-hop. We come with the consciousness and yes. the originality. Originality. So, uh, man, thank you, brother. Man, thank you. And, and we're going to throw We got one minute, and, and I'm going to have to do it, you know, because I know everybody, since we don't have callers, throw up that, throw up that white Jesus. <laughs> throw it up. And I want, I want, my, I want the special guest. DJ Ism to say his own opinion. Let's say that. Uh, well, it says ask. Well, we got many pictures of the white Jesus. Right. Throw up the crack one because I'm going to run my mouth. But I'll say this. Uh -oh. Ask a black person, what's the color of Jesus? They'll say he has no color. <laughs> ask a white person what color. He's, he's white. white. Yep. It happens all the time. We have. It all the time. Bible said yeah. his hair was like Looking like a hippie. What color you <laughs> Looking like a hippie happened. in Africa. So what's worse? So DJ Ism, well, well I'm going to let the ladies, and we're going to end it with DJ Ism. How long do we got? Two minutes. Yeah, two. We'll end it. You guys got a uh, 100-meter dash, 200-meter dash. What we do? Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right, and then we're going to end it with DJ Ism and me. All right. For, all right. So, oh, that's happening. Let me go back to the which one fucked up us worse. Can we get that picture real quick? Please. Um, you know. Cracker, he, uh, Jesus, really? Which one fucked up? Really? Go ahead. Go ahead. You let wow. It go. Oh, it's deep. Right, going first? We got two minutes. We got a 400 meter. I can't speak. I know Jesus. I ain't ever, ever touched any crack. Even if we didn't believe in Jesus. I'm out. I touched it. I ain't smoke it. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say that. It, but I didn't like it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> what is the Matrix? TV? Wow, it's getting real up in here. Okay, sorry, you're not, you're not alone. You're not alone. <laughs> so let the God speak. Now let me give you your secrets out. I'm playing. I'm playing. Oh, I'm playing. Oh, shit, I'm all the way from the Okay. Ism. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. Ism. Was it crack? Was it black folks not knowing knowledge? Drop it. I, it's. I, 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 it's 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. it's it's the white Jesus because it's not a real image. We're not even talking whether or not he existed or he did. Okay, we're not even talking. Let's just talk about the image. It's not that's not what he looked like. People did not look like that over there at that time. That was part of Africa. They want to argue and say Middle East, but that was Africa at that time. Jerusalem was was not did not have people that looked like white hippies. And the Bible even describes Jesus as an African. DJ Ism. Yeah.
Hello, the guy. Shout out to Johnny Ball. An amazing being. Winner. Champion. In the Hall of Fame of what is the Matrix. Yes, sir. On the Grind TV. That's right. On the Grind TV. Empire Live. TV. We had Miss Dez, the beautiful goddess. I wake up in the morning putting my read in my Bible paper. Oh, I'm DJ Ism. Shit. On the Grind TV. And I'm Jason Elm Street Williams. Chewing on them suckers like a bee. In the Empire Live. TV. Keep it locked. Let's get it. Now it's equal power. Pop lock your soul. We're, we're about to be wealthy, healthy, and happy. Healthy, wealthy, and wise. Fuck the hate.